esa es la música que dice que la voz hispana radio trae la información importante para nuestra comunidad hispana en todo me el medio oeste de los Estados Unidos. That's the music that brings the important information for our community in the Midwest. And today we have a special guest that he is in doing a big thing uh, for our community in the Midwest. And he needs the help of our community so we can co accomplish with that goal. And it's, his name is Ryan Gabby. How are you, Ryan? Pretty good. Thanks for having me, Juan. Well, it's an honor to have you here. I'm, I've been seeing you in the front page of Argus Leader and also in Facebook. You are everywhere. You look like me, my friend. I try. <laughs> uh, yeah, we use our social media to really outreach to people, tell them what's going on, uh, tell us where we're at with the petition process for this decriminalization measure in South Dakota. And it's great to see the mainstream media picking up the headlines and letting the people know that this is real. It's for real. And we need something like that. And being the Midwest that conservative in this area, and, you know, I, I say that for my experience, in working in this community, uh, when I saw that and you reached me through Facebook, I say, we need to help. And we need to bring the, the correct information so that I believe if they, our community is well informed, uh, there are not going to be any mistake, any, any, any problem. And this is something that I believe that if we inform and educate our community, uh, it's gonna it's gonna be success. So, Ryan, explain me what you want to accomplish with this. Well, basically, what's going on is our measure will decriminalize one ounce or less of marijuana. If you're concerned about the difference between legalization and decriminalization, a legalization would be shops would be showing up on corners where you could buy marijuana like alcohol if your ID said you were of the proper age to do so. Uh, this measure is not about that. It is not so, a legalization. So it is not to legalize marijuana in the Midwest. No, it's it's similar, but not quite. It, it changes the way the police deal with the situation. Because I'm looking that in other states, uh, I think around four states, they already legalized marijuana. Yes. And, and if we talk about that just a little bit. All right. So, because everything has its good positive points and also, you know, not that, not that positive. In Colorado, I was reading a research that they did after the first year. The industry of marijuana in Colorado brought $700 million to the state. And that is divided with the medical marijuana and also the retail marijuana. Yes. And also another uh, statistic said that in taxes only, $63 million was made from th that first year. So we are talking about a big business. And I was also doing the research about the criminality. It was rising or something like that. No, it's lower. But we are not talking about that today. <laughs> we are talking about to lower the penalty if someone is being cashed by the police officer with uh, marijuana with them. Talk, me, talk about me about that. Okay, so basically for one ounce or less of possession, you would get a $100 civil fine. You would be asked to forfeit your marijuana. Well, not asked. They would force you to, to forfeit your marijuana and your paraphernalia, whether it's your pipe or your joint or whatever you happen to have on you, and they would send you on your way. The current system, uh, whether it's a roach, a, a small little piece of a joint, on up to a, a huge bag of two ounces in there, which is like two sandwich bags worth, uh, is the same penalty. It's a $2,000 fine and one year in the county jail. Now, what they're doing most of the time right now with an arrest in Sioux Falls, most of what they're catching is a quarter ounce or less. So it takes two hours of police time to book that person, take them to jail, they get PR bonded out, they go to court, the judge sentences them if they're found guilty. It's generally a suspended jail sentence with a year of probation and they pay a fine. Well, in that probation, there's usually your analysis that's random and... From what I know of people who consume marijuana, it stays in their system for up to 30 days. So 
they potentially would be failing a drug test down the road, and then if they fail the drug test, they end up back in jail, and that's on your dime. That's on my dime. So that is coming from our pocket. Yes. So we have to give a room to that guy. We need to give three meals a day. We need to uh, buy from him shampoo and, and soap and, and, and pay for, the, for that person that was catch with only this amount of marijuana in them. Absolutely. It's ridiculous, doesn't it? Sound like we're, we're wasting tax dollars locking up people over plants. I mean, you wouldn't lock up somebody over a rose bush. Marijuana is just about as lethal as a rose bush. It's, it's never killed anybody in history. And they're saying that it's going to cause all these problems in the community. No. Colorado shows that. Crime is down. Violent crime is down. Drug overdoses are down. Teen use is down in Colorado. Definitely. And also, uh, accident driving are down too. Yes, uh, the, federal, the Federal Highway Traffic Administration recently did a study that proves that they had somebody on marijuana, they had somebody that was drunk, and they had somebody who was sober. And of the three, the, the guy on alcohol nailed more cones than anybody. The sober guy made it through their decent rate. The marijuana people kind of did it a little slower, but they didn't hit anything. So there is not that danger, dangerous uh, situation like if he was drunk. Drunk is more of like a, a spinny type feeling, like, oh man, like the whole world is spinning. Marijuana is not like that. Marijuana makes you hypersensitive to your environment. You're very aware of what's going on around you to a point where there's so much that you're aware of, it takes a little longer for you to process everything. It makes you more cautious. And the paranoia involved with marijuana is only because it's illegal. If it wasn't illegal, you wouldn't be looking over your shoulder looking for police. You wouldn't be constantly checking your mirror for police. You wouldn't have that gut-wrenching feeling when you see the police. And it's really unfortunate in the Latino community, we've seen a lot of arrests just out of racial profiling. And it's sad. Yeah, that's a big problem, and it's not only over here. We cannot see that a lot in South Dakota because the percentage of illegal immigrants in this area of Latinos are like one to two percent, and we right now are over twenty-two thousand Latinos. But in other states, yes, that can happen. Uh, you can be being doing profiling a Latino, and he can be deported from the United States. You know. So uh, let me let me give me one more time. What do you want to change the law in the law? What do you want to change? Uh, we would like to make it a civil penalty. Civil penalty. So okay, it will no longer civil. Okay. It will no longer be a criminal offense. You will not have a criminal charge on your record for minor possession of marijuana charges of one ounce or less. O sea que usted no tendría en su eh, record un record penal grande sería una, una ofensa menor si lo toman a usted con una cantidad mínima de marihuana en su record. Yes. So, what do we need to do? I need you guys to come out and register to vote. Uh, look up our page on Facebook, South Dakotans Against Prohibition, or you can find us on our website at www.sdap605.com. You can register to vote right there and get information about the bill. So, let me say this in Spanish. Okay. And um, let me explain to you, from the 22,000 Latinos that the census of the United States says that are right now here in Sioux Falls and surrounding area, 7,000 Latinos are ready, ready, ready and registered to vote. So, 7,000 can change any election or any bill that, uh, that we try to pass in this area. If not, you can ask our mayor, Mike Huther, uh, who helped him to become mayor the first time and the second time. Was the vote from the Latinos and the diverse community here in Sioux Falls because he did a great campaign uh, during the that time to them. I was he, he was sitting in the, in the same place that you were here. Oh wow! Oh yeah, and uh, I I asked the Latino uh, to take in consideration the good job that he's been doing for the first four years and one more time uh, help him to continue the last four years. So and he won. And if you see the first um, the the first vote 
are uh, results from the first, first election, 2,500 people in a close voting with Mayor Mike Huther, what's the total amount of voting in this area, in Sioux Falls? And imagine if those 7,000 go to vote, what's going to happen? And also in the second time, what's like 15,000, 18,000, the, the total amount of voting, of votes in that time? 7,000 is, is a big chunk. Well, yes, uh, 7,000 is actually half the amount of registered voter signatures that we need to take this ballot initiative from petition to being on the 2016 presidential ballot. We have till November 9th to turn in 14,000 registered South Dakotan signatures to the Secretary of State and Pierre. Upon completing that task, it will be on the ballot for 2016 for a general statewide election vote. So you are going to be have different places that the people can go and register and promote in different organizations? Uh, yes. Uh, today, uh, if you have time, go out to the Sioux Empire Fair, okay. the Expo Building. The, yes. There are two booths there. One is our booth for the decriminalization of one ounce or less of marijuana, and the other booth is for the legalization of medicinal marijuana from New Approach, South Dakota. Okay. So, señoras y señores, ya escucharon a nuestro amigo Ryan Gaddy. Esto no es cuestión de legalizar la marihuana. In, in the state of South Dakota. This is not about to legalize the marijuana in South Dakota. It's to lower the penalty for a person that can be arrested for a, a little bit of marijuana and the cost of having that person in jail. That's because, remember my friends, escuchen mis amigos, todo ese tiempo que pasa esa gente en la cárcel Nosotros, los ciudadanos, we, the citizen, pay for that person in jail. Absolutely. We're looking at a $7 million savings. That was prepared by the uh, Legislative Research Council of South Dakota, gave us that financial impact statement. $7 million in taxpayer savings for not putting people in cages over plants. So, my friends, eh, aquí le pedimos eh, que ayuden, that help our friend here, a nuestro amigo a que esto se pueda llevar a cabo. Estamos economizando tiempo, dinero, que nosotros somos los que pagamos eh, por una situación que es mínima y que ya se ha demostrado en otros estados en esta, de Estados Unidos. We already demonstrated that in other states of the United States, uh, there is not any big problem to, to have this uh, available for our community. Ryan. Thank you for being La Voz. Well, thank you for having me on the show. You have a good voice. You have to be in the radio, my friend. I, I would love to get in the radio, but uh, apparently <laughs> I <laughs> can't find a job in radio when you're the marijuana guy. So. <laughs> well, my friend, uh, things change in this, in this life. And remember when the alcohol was illegal? Yes, not that long ago. That Prohibition proved to be a failure with alcohol as it's proving to be a failure with marijuana. And now it's a big industry. Let me give you this one. In Puerto Rico, all the taxes from alcohol and cigarette sales are being used to pay scholarship for education or the education in college in, in, in Puerto Rico. So something that is mm, benefit, something that is important, the education of our children and our kids for the future. Yes. Thank you for being here. Thank you. And I'm here to help you. I appreciate it. So, ese fue Ryan en la voz hispana radio. Aquí hablamos. We talk about topics that nobody talks because we are not afraid because the truth is the truth and all will will come out. La verdad es la verdad y siempre saldrá al aire. This is Ryan with SDAP signing out.